Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the theirishscrapper.com and today I have a super fun shaker card for you all. Um, so I just wanted to show you how I created this. They're very simple if you have not tried uh, a shaker card and you just need a few things uh, to do it. So let's get started. Uh, for our card base, um, we are using a piece of Bermuda Bay and this is just our standard A2 size card. Uh, so eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I am actually going to emboss that with our polka dots uh, embossing folder. So let me get that. Okay, so I have my big shot here and I am just using the standard um, platform. I'm going to put one of my cutting pads in as well as my piece of Bermuda Bay with the embossing folder. My other cutting Pad, and I'm going to roll this through. Okay. And now you'll be able to see that we have embossed that. We're going to use the Big Shot one more time. So let me just switch platforms. I am bringing in my magnetic platform and I am using uh, one of the circle framelits and this one you know, it looks like about three inches um, and I'm just going to line that up in the center as best as I can. If you want to use a little piece of washi tape you could um, and we're going to cut out our circle. So let me roll that through. Okay, let me get this big shot out of our way. Okay, so now we have our circle. You can save this piece um, for another project. It might come in handy. Okay, so now let me just fold this and get my bone folder to give us a nice crease. Um, what I've done is I have taken a piece of, oh, and where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, a piece of one of our cello bags and I'm actually going to use that as my window. Um, if you do have our window sheets um, that would work perfect and if I had any of those um, on hand I would do that as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of fast fuse. My fast fuse is stuck here. Hi, sorry about that. My phone went ringing and I had to get it. So, um, so what I, you saw was I put a little bit of fast fuse around the back side of the circle that we made. I'm going to take a piece of our cello bags that I just cut um, to kind of fit over, and I'm going to lay that across that area. Okay, and then if you have not seen. Um, these yet. These are our new foam strips and these are available in the catalog and they're super handy. So I'm going to take actually a full strip here and you can actually just you know manipulate these to go around your circle. Now depending on the size of the circle one strip might work perfectly. Um, for this circle I am going to need a little bit more um, but once I have this laid down, I'll have a better idea of what size I need. So, there we go. And let me cut myself another little piece. I'm going to say about here. So I'm just going to peel myself off an extra piece and I'm going to try to yeah, I overestimated that. Okay, let me just give this a little, a little snip. That should work. Okay, so there now is our window. Let me get this little edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a piece of Whisper White that I've trimmed a little smaller than the front of our card and I'm going to stamp our sentiment 
on that white piece so that it shows through um, the window. So we're going to make that uh, fun. So I'm going to pull out my Bermuda Bay and I am using the stamp set Painter's Palette and I'm using the sentiment your idea to have a birthday was simply a stroke of genius and I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to do my best here this camera. You could have stamped um, first, which I could have done and probably should have for the video, before I put the window sheet down so you can double check your alignment. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot and hope, hope this works out. Let that ink absorb a second. Looks good. Clean my stamp. And then what I've chose to do um, to just make it a little bit more fun and give it a little bit more color is I'm going to use the splatter here with a little melon mambo. And I am just going to do this around my sentiment. Just to add add some more color through the window. Um, so some of this, you know, is not going to show, and that's fine. Don't have to worry about it. Just that little bit will help. Um, okay, so we're done with the stamping. And then let's take a look and see how we did. That looks pretty good, actually. That worked out perfect. Okay, so for my contents of the circle, uh, I am actually just going to use some of our sequin trim. So I have some silver and I have Bermuda Bay here. And I am just going to pull these off from both colors. Um, so I will probably fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so there we have our sequins. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little bit more of our foam strips and I am just going to put a couple more pieces around the edge just to stabilize our background. So I'm going to put one on this side and another piece on this side and again none of this is going to show so you don't have to worry about you know your placement so much um, and I'm going to go ahead now and peel this off Okay, and now let me just take a look here. This is going to be the front of my card. So when I close it, I want to make sure I'm putting this on correctly. That would be terrible if we mess that up now. Okay, so I'm going to lay that down and just give that a press. And there's our shaker! So much fun. Okay, so one more thing that I did was I actually took my Wink of Stella, my clear, and I just chose to kind of go over some of these circles just to give it a little bit more sparkle. Um, you know, the embossing gives you some nice texture, and I just love um, to put a little bit more... Who doesn't love glitter? And I think for this fun style of card it's nice to to add a little bit more so I am going to do a few circles these Wink of Stella pens are so easy to use um, and are so fun we have them in the new catalog uh, I do have the clear and the gold and the clear just you can put over anything and it'll just give it that little bit of shine um, so I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll go back to my original. So hopefully you can see where I've put the Wink of Stella here. Just gives it a little bit more bling. And there is our cards for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this super fun card, and you'll give it a try. Um, I was a little intimidated by the shakers, but they're very easy. And you just need to 
um, get some of our foam strips. Those make it really simple. So um, please um, let me know if you've enjoyed this video and this card. I'd love to hear from you. And I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.